Hello and welcome to today's episode of Unlocking Your Potential, the show where, while we dive deep into personal development, growth, and mastering the mind, I'm your host, Lee Jenkins, and you know what, I'm so excited to have you with me today because we're going to discuss something that has the power to radically shift how you live your life, your mind, and its incredible untapped potential. You see, most of us go through life on autopilot, reacting to the world around us without ever fully realizing that we have this vast well of potential just waiting to be unlocked. We get so caught up in daily routines, challenges, and distractions that we forget we have the power to direct our thoughts, actions, and ultimately our results. Now, I want to start by asking you something simple, but you know, it's really important. And that is, what are you thinking about right now? Pause for a moment. Pause for a moment and really reflect on that. Are you focused on something you truly desire in your life? Something that excites and inspires you? Are you stuck replaying fears, worries, or doubts, things that you wish weren't part of your reality? So here's the thing. What you consistently think about, whether consciously or not, shapes your entire experience. Your thoughts act like seeds. And what you plant in the garden of your mind grows into the results you see in your life. If you're always thinking about problems, challenges, or what's going wrong, you're unknowingly watering those seeds. But if you're focused on what you want, on solutions, opportunities, or your vision for the future, you'll start to see those positive changes take root. Now, one of my favorite quotes of all time, and one that has guided me through my own journeys, comes from Ralph Waldo Emerson where he said, we become what we think about all day long. Now, let that sink in for a moment. What you consistently focus your mind on is what you eventually manifest in your reality. It's a simple concept, but it's incredibly powerful. And today, well, I'm here to help you understand how, to, how true this really is and, and how you can begin using it to revolutionize your life. Now, let's dive deeper into the concept of how your mind works and why it holds the key to everything you want in life. We've, well, we've all heard the saying, change your thinking, change your life, but what does that really mean? You see, most people go through life without ever realizing that their thoughts create their reality. And, well, I don't just mean in some abstract philosophical way. I mean it quite literally. Think about the last big decision you made whether it was well, in your career, relationships, or even your health. What was the thought process behind it? Did you decide based on what you truly wanted? Or did you act out of fear, doubt, or limitations? Let me tell you a story from well, my own life that illustrates how powerful our minds really are. You know, years ago, before I became a coach and author, I was stuck. I wasn't where I wanted to be in life. And frankly, I didn't believe I could change that. My thoughts were constantly focused on what I didn't want, the debts piling up, the job that wasn't fulfilling, and the feeling being trapped by circumstances. I thought I was, I was just being realistic, but what I didn't realize at the time was that by focusing on those negative thoughts, I was actually creating more of the same in my life. Then suddenly something happened. Something happened that shifted my entire perspective. A mentor came into my life and introduced me to Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And one idea in that book hit me like lightning. It hit me like a lightning bolt. You become what you think about. Now at first, well, I resisted it. I thought, how could something as simple as changing my thoughts change my entire life? But it kept coming back to that idea and I decided, well, you know what? I'm going to test it for myself. I started small. I wrote down a single goal, something I wanted to achieve, to earn a certain amount of money within, well, a certain year, that, that particular year. Now, mind you, I didn't have a clear idea of how. I didn't have any idea how I was going to achieve it, but I kept my focus on that goal. I wrote it down on a card, and I, I carried that card with me everywhere. I would read it in multiple times a day, every single day. Now, something fascinating started to happen. The more I focus on that goal, the more my thoughts shifted from I can't to, well, what if I could? Instead of worrying about my debts or the things that weren't working in my life, I began to think about possibilities, 
opportunities and solutions. And sure enough, you know what? Opportunities started showing up in ways I couldn't have predicted at all. Doors started to open. Ideas came to me. And within that year, not only did I reach my goal, but I exceeded it by far. Now, this isn't just my experience. The power of the mind has been studied and documented by some of the greatest thinkers and leaders in the world. Let's look at an example from a very influential uh, mentor of mine, uh, and that would be Bob Proctor. Now, Bob shared his story from when he was a fireman earning, well, just $4,000 a year, and he was in debt for $6,000. But everything changed when he was introduced to the same principle I'm sharing with you today. He began to focus on what he wanted rather than what he didn't. And you know what? Within a year, he was earning over $175,000 and eventually took it over a million dollars. So how did he do it? Well, by changing his mindset and focusing on prosperity instead of lack. But here's the key. It wasn't just about thinking positively. It was about aligning his actions with those thoughts. And that's where many people get stuck. They think, if I just think positively, everything will magically change. But the truth is, thoughts are only the beginning. See, when you change your thoughts, you change your emotions, and those emotions are what drive your actions. And when you consistently take action, align with your goals, that's when you see real transformation. Now, let me explain how this works from a practical standpoint. See, your, op your, your mind operates on, well, two levels. The conscious mind and the subconscious mind. Now, your conscious mind is where you do your thinking. It's where you decide what you want where you set your goals and where you imagine your future. But it's your subconscious mind that controls your behaviors, your habits and beliefs. And here's the kicker. Your subconscious mind doesn't distinguish between what's real and what's imagined. It simply acts on the thoughts and images that are impressed upon it, whether positive or negative. So if you're constantly thinking about things like, I can't do this, or I'm not good enough, those thoughts get impressed upon your subconscious and they show up in your actions. You might procrastinate, avoid taking risks, or sell it for less than what you truly want. But when you start feeding your subconscious mind with thoughts like, I am capable, I deserve success, and I can achieve anything I set my mind to, while your subconscious accepts those thoughts as truth, and your actions begin to reflect them. You take more confident steps. You start to notice opportunities that, well, were always there but hidden from your view. And most importantly, you start to believe in your own potential. This process of shifting from negative, uh, limiting thoughts to empowering possibility-focused thoughts uh, doesn't happen overnight. Don't expect it to. It takes repetition and practice. It's like planting a seed. You don't plant a seed and expect a tree to grow the next day. You water it, you nurture it, and you give it time. The same is true with your mind. The more you focus on what you want, the more you nurture those thoughts and the more they will take root and grow into results you desire. So what does this mean for you? Well, it means that no matter where you are in life right now, no matter what challenges you're facing, you have the power to change your circumstances by changing your thinking. Whether you're looking to improve your career, relationship, health, or finances, the process is always the same. It all starts with your mind. Now, let me give you a practical tool you can start using today. I call it the thought replacement technique. Anytime you catch yourself thinking a negative or limiting thought like, oh, I can't do this or this will never work, immediately replace it with an empowering thought. For example, instead of saying I'll never be successful, replace it with, replace it with I'm capable of achieving success. You might not believe it at first, but remember, repetition is the key here. The more you practice this, the more you will reprogram your subconscious mind to believe in your ability to succeed. So now that you understand the immense power of your thoughts and how they shape your life, let's talk about some practical steps you can take starting today. These are tools that, well, they've worked for me and for countless others, and they can absolutely work for you too but only if you commit to using them consistently. The key to lasting change is not just in knowing these concepts, but in applying them. So I want to give you three powerful, very powerful practices that will help you start shifting your mindset and revolutionizing your life. 
And the first one is creating and using a goal card. Now this is a simple yet life-changing technique that I personally use for years and now your goal should be written in the present tense as if you've already achieved it. For example, instead of writing I want to earn $100,000 you would write, I am so happy and grateful now that I am earning $100,000 annually. Now once you've written your goal, well, here's the most important part. Read it multiple times a day. Keep that card with you. Pull it out wherever you get a chance. While having your morning coffee, during a break, before bed, and focus on that goal. Feel the emotions of already having achieved it. You see, this repetition helps impress the goal on your subconscious mind, aligning your thoughts, your emotions, and your actions with that goal. So why is this so effective? Because your subconscious mind responds to repetition and feeling. The more you immerse yourself in the vision of achieving your goal, the more your mind works to bringing opportunities, ideas, and solutions, well, to help you achieve it. Now the second step here is thought replacement techniques. Now we talked earlier about how negative and limiting thoughts can hold you back. These thoughts might come in the form of self-doubt, fear, or even old patterns of thinking that all no longer serve you. One of the most powerful tools you can use to counteract this is what I call thought replacement techniques. And well, here's how it works. See, whenever you catch yourself thinking a negative or limiting thought, whether it's about your ability, let's say your circumstances, or your future, Immediately stop. Stop and replace it with a positive empowering thought. Like for example, let's say the negative thought is, I'll never be able to do this. Replace that thought with, I am capable and I have the skills to figure this out. Or perhaps the negative thought might be, this will never work. Well, you want to replace that thought with something along the lines of, there are always solutions and I open to finding them. Now, you might feel resistance at first, uh, especially if you've been stuck in negative thinking for a long time. That's normal. But remember, the goal here is to reprogram your subconscious mind. The more you replace negative thoughts with empowering ones, the more you'll be able to shift your internal dialogue and start acting in ways that align with your goals. Now, this practice can be done well, anywhere and at any time. You don't need a quiet space or a lot of time. It's, it's all about catching yourself in the moment and then flipping that script. Start practicing it today. And over time, you'll notice a shift in how you perceive yourself and your capabilities. Visualization is another very powerful tool that helps align your mind with the results you want to achieve. Think of it like a mental rehearsal. When you visualize, you create the detailed mental images of what you want to achieve and you experience the emotions of already having it. Now, here's a quick exercise. I'm going to set aside five to 10 minutes every day, ideally in the morning or before bed, where you can sit in a quiet space without distractions. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and start to vividly imagine yourself achieving your goal. See yourself in that new reality. If your goal is to start a successful business, visualize yourself meeting with clients receiving positive feedback, and watching your bank account grow. If your goal is to improve your health, picture yourself full of energy, feeling vibrant and living a healthier lifestyle. See, the key is to engage all of your senses. Don't just see the image. Feel, and, feel the joy. Feel the excitement and the satisfaction of achieving that goal. Hear the sounds around you. Smell the environment. The more vivid and emotionally charged the visualization, the more effectively it will impact your subconscious mind. So why does this work? See, your mind cannot distinguish between something vividly imagined and something real. When you visualize consistently, you're training your mind to believe that your desired reality is already happening. And then your actions will naturally begin to align with that belief. Now, it's important to monitor your environment. See, the people places and information you surround yourself with will have a massive influence on your thoughts and mindset. If you're constantly around negativity or if you're consuming media that in, while it reinforces fear or doubt, that's what your mind will absorb. So take a close look at your environment. 
Who are you spending spending the most of your time with? Are they people who uplift you, and or are they people who drain your energy? What are you reading? What are you watching or listening to? Is it inspiring and helping you grow? Or is it reinforcing limiting beliefs? See, start surrounding yourself with positive influences. This can mean listening to personal development podcasts like this one, reading empowering books, attending workshops, or even connecting with like-minded individuals who support your growth. Remember, your environment plays a critical role in shaping your mindset. So choose carefully what and really importantly who you allow into your mental space. Now daily affirmations is a big one. See affirmations are another simple yet really effective tool to reprogram your subconscious mind. These are positive present tense statements that you repeat daily to reinforce new beliefs and thought patterns. So here's a few examples of affirmations that you maybe want to use. Number one, I am worthy of success and abundance. I am confident in my abilities to achieve my goals. I attract positive opportunities and solutions. Now, the trick with affirmations is to say them with emotion. Don't just repeat the words mindlessly. Feel the truth in them. And over time, these affirmations will replace old limiting beliefs and help you develop a stronger, more positive mindset. Now, here's a bonus tip for you, and that is take action daily. While mindset is incredibly powerful, it must be paired with action. Nothing happens without action. So after you started implementing the mindset tools, ask yourself, what is one small step I can take today that moves me closer to my goal? It doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be big, but it has to be consistent. Whether it's making a phone call, researching something, or simply organizing your thoughts, every action counts. Remember, momentum builds from small daily steps. These are all tools that I've used in my own journey and with my clients to create real, lasting transformation. But they only work if you use them consistently. So take a few minutes today to create that goal card. Practice thought replacement, visualize your future, and monitor your environment. These small shifts will lead to big results. Now that we've covered some powerful, actionable takeaways, let's pull everything together and with a key insight that, well, is fundamental to revolutionizing your life. Your thoughts are the foundation of your reality. Everything you experience in your life, whether success, challenges, fulfillment, or frustration, can be traced back to your thinking. I want you to really grasp this idea because it's something that the greatest thinkers and achievers throughout history have all agreed upon. Your thoughts act like seeds. And the thoughts you consistently focus on grow into the results that you're going to experience. Think about it this way. Your mind operates much like a garden. If you plant a seed of abundance, success, and gratitude, well, that's what will grow in your life. But if you're constantly planting seeds of doubt, fear, and limitations, well, guess what? You're going to see those negative results blossom instead. See, the beauty of this, well, the beauty of this process is that you have the power to choose which seeds you plant. I know that can kind of sound abstract, but so let me break it down into a, well, a practical example. Let's say you're focusing or facing you know, maybe a challenge in your career. Maybe you're struggling to get ahead or maybe you're feeling stuck. Most people, uh, when confronted with a challenge like this, for example, tend to focus on the problem. They might think things like, well, I'm never going to be get promoted, or I'm never going to get that new job, or I don't have what it takes to succeed in this field. Now, those thoughts, whether you realize it or not, are shaping your actions. When you think, I'm never going to get promoted, well, you might stop putting in the extra effort. Avoid taking on new challenges, or even shy away from asking for what you deserve. Your belief that success isn't possible is keeping you in that cycle of stagnation. Your thoughts are dictating your actions, and your actions are creating your results. Now, here's the key insight. If you want to change your results, you have to first change your thoughts. I know it sounds simple, but think about the impact this can have on your life. When you start focusing on what you want instead of what you don't want, everything is going to change. 
you know, instead of thinking, I'll never get promoted, you shift your thinking to, I am capable of excelling in my career. And guess what? You begin to see new possibilities. That shift in thinking empowers you to take different actions. Maybe you start taking on new responsibilities or you approach your boss with a plan for your personal development. Your thoughts have set the stage for new actions and those actions lead to new results. Now, here's an important part, uh, point that, uh, well, an important point that I want you to remember. You don't get what you want. You get what you are. This means that your results are a reflection of who you are inside. It's your beliefs, your self-image, your mindset. If deep down you don't believe you deserve success, it's going to show up in your results, no matter how hard you work. But when you start aligning your thoughts and beliefs with the success you desire, well, you know what? The universe will respond in kind. You might be wondering, is it really that simple? Can changing my thoughts really change my entire life? Well, you know what? The answer is yes. But it's not just about positive thinking. It's about programming your subconscious mind to work for you instead of against you. Your subconscious mind is like a powerful engine running in the black background. It, it, it controls your habits, your automatic behaviors, and even how you respond to opportunities. And here's the key. It doesn't distinguish between positive or negative. It just responds to the thoughts and beliefs you feed it. That's why it's so important to be intentional of what you allow into your mind. Now, Earl Nightingale, another one of my mentors, once said, you become what you think about most of the time. This means that the thoughts you dwell on, whether you're empowering or limiting, will become your reality. If you're constantly thinking thoughts of lack, limitation, and fear, that's what you'll experience. But if you train your mind to focus on abundance, possibility, and success, those are the results you're starting to see. And I'll be honest with you, it's not always easy. It's not. We've all been conditioned to think in certain ways, often without even realizing it. Many of us were raised with limiting beliefs about money, success, and our abilities. And those beliefs have taken root in our subconscious mind. But here's the good news. You have the power to change those beliefs. One of the most transformative concepts, uh, concepts that uh, I learned in my own journey is this. You are not your circumstances. You are not defined by what's happening around you. Whether it's a financial struggle, a difficult relationship, or a career challenge. Those are just conditions. What defines you is the ability to think beyond your current circumstances and focus on what you truly want to create in your life. It's what I call living from the inside out. Most people live from the outside in. They let their environment dictate their thoughts, their feelings, and their actions. They react to circumstances rather than create their own. But when you live from the inside out, you start with your mind. You start by deciding what you want and you allow your thoughts and feelings to shape your reality, not the other way around. This is where your true power lies. See, you have the ability to choose your thoughts, and by doing so, you can choose your results. This shift in thinking may seem kind of subtle, but it has the power to revolutionize your life in ways that you really can't even imagine. So, I want to leave you with this key insight. See, the results you see in your life are a reflection of the thoughts you consistently think. If you want to change your life, you really have to start by changing your thoughts. So take some time today to reflect on what, what you're focusing on. Are you spending your energy thinking about problems, limitations, or things that you don't want? Or are you focusing on solutions, possibilities, and the goals you're working towards? Remember, what you feed your mind is what you'll see in your life. That's the reality. All right, now that we've explored how powerful your thoughts are and how they directly influence your results, it's time to take action. Remember, knowing these concepts is one thing, but applying them consistently is where the magic happens. I want you to leave today's episode not just feeling inspired, but ready to start transforming your life step by step. So here's what I'd love for you to do. Think about the key insight we discussed today. You become what you think about most of the time. Now, I want you to reflect on your current thought patterns. What are you focusing on? 
Are you giving your attention to what you want to create in your life? Or are you stuck thinking about the things you don't want? So to help you make that shift, I'm giving you two simple but powerful action steps here. And number one is to create your own goal card. Now, I talked about the importance of setting a clear written goal earlier. And now it's time for you to well put that into practice. Take a few minutes today to write down one specific goal that you want to achieve. It could be related to your career, it could be relationships, health, or any kind of personal growth. Whatever is most important to you right now. Write it in the present tense as if it's already a reality. Like for example, I am so happy and grateful now that I am earning $100,000 a year, or it could be $100,000 a month. It doesn't matter. Or you could be saying, I am confident and energized, living a healthy and fulfilling life. This goal card is your daily reminder of where you're headed. Carry it with you everywhere and read it at least three times a day. Do it when you wake up in the morning, during breakfast, or during a break in the day, or maybe perhaps before you go to bed, which is also a really great time to do that. Let this be your guide and you'll start to see how your focus shifts towards achieving that goal. Now, number two is start replacing negative thoughts. This is the second action I want you to take. Pay close attention to the thoughts that come up throughout your day. When you catch yourself thinking something negative, stop for a moment and consciously replace that thought with something more empowering. For example, if you catch yourself thinking, I'm not good enough for this, replace it with, I am fully capable and I have everything I need to succeed. You know, at first this might feel very uncomfortable or forced, but over time, it will become second nature. The more you practice, the more your subconscious mind will begin to accept these new beliefs, and you'll notice your actions start to align with your new goals. These two steps are small, but incredibly powerful. They are the first seeds you can plant in your mental garden to start creating the results you want. And I want you to commit to doing them daily. Trust me, consistency is truly the key. Now, if you found today's episode helpful and you're ready to dive even deeper into mastering your mindset and revolutionizing your life, I'd love for you to take a few more steps. The first one being subscribe to this podcast. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. See, each week we're going to continue exploring new ideas, strategies, and real life examples to help you on your personal development journey. Whether it's learning how to break through limiting beliefs, set more powerful goals, or cultivate the mindset of success, there's so much more to come. Subscribing ensures you stay connected and always have fresh insights to keep you on track. The second part here is share this episode. If today's message resonated with you, well, there's a good chance it could help someone else as well. So I invite you to share this episode with a friend, a colleague, or perhaps a family member who could benefit from learning how to shift their thinking. It's amazing how much of a difference a single insight can make in someone's life. And you have the power to spread that impact. And then thirdly here, this is the one I like the most, and that is connect with me. You see, I love hearing from listeners like you. So if you have any questions, insights, or stories of how today's episode might have impacted you, reach out to me on social media. Let's keep the conversation going. You can find me on most social media sites such as Facebook and LinkedIn. So drop me a message. Let me know what you're working on and how you're applying these principles in your life. Your stories inspire me just as much as I hope I'm inspiring you. So finally, remember this. You have the power to change your thoughts and by doing so, you change your life. The results you see today are a direct reflection of the thoughts you've been holding on to. But the good news is that you have full control over what you focus on moving forward. So take these steps. Create your goal card. Practice replacing those negative thoughts and start living from the inside out. You're already on the path to revolutionizing your life and I'm here to guide you every single step of the way. I want to thank you for joining me on today's episode of Revolutionizing Your Life with Lee M. Jenkins. I can't wait to see the incredible transformation you're going to create. So until next time, keep believing in the power of your mind and the greatness that's already inside of you. I'm Lee Jenkins.